Microsoft just released its first AI image model, My Image One, and it's already trending number nine on LM Arena. So you know what that means. It's time to put it head to head with Google Nano Banana. So let's start. The first prompt need to be about the red wine filled to the very brim on the glass, because most of the AI image generators cannot fulfill that desire. So what we have here, this is my image one from Microsoft. This is Gemini 2.5, or I could use also Imagen, which I will. So let's see. This is not a full glass of red wine from Microsoft. And this is also not full glass of red wine yeah, from, the, from Google, constantly having problems. Uh, so OpenAI is currently the only one that is making that prompt as a final result, really. So to be fair, I also needed to test my image one versus Imagen 4.0, because this is the official Google's AI image generator. Google Nano Banana is more like an image editor, but basically they do the same things. So here we have Microsoft. Looks pretty good, but it's not filled completely. And here, once again, Google and not filled completely. Then I wanted to test the photorealism. So full body shot of two elderly individuals, a woman with knitted shawl gently placing her left hand on the shoulder of a man who is playing six string guitar with both hands. So here on the left side, we have Microsoft My Image One. You see the realism here. That's where Microsoft really outperforms almost anyone. And it is the completely new in-house built model. As you know, they previously depended on the open AI. Now here we have some problems here with the fingers, but overall this really looks like a really old couple enjoying themselves somewhere in the nature. And then we have Google Gemini 2.5. This really also looks great. All of the fingers are pretty good. Everything is good, but you could notice that this is AI generated, but overall pretty nice. Then we have one weird prompt of a hyper-realistic medium close-up photograph of four hands playing a single classical guitar simultaneously. This is to see how AI handles the fingers, which is the most important part and the hardest. So here we see that Microsoft is really following the prompt. We have one, two, three, four hands playing the guitar. Of course, there we have problems with the fingers, especially this one here and some of these, but Google here completely got the prompt differently. Now we have four fingers, but on two different guitars, but they look pretty good. And now we need to try something more cartoonish. So we have a cinematic portrait of a creature that is exactly 50% wolf, 25% eagle, and 25% deep sea angelfish. Just by looking from now, I would say here, Microsoft did a better job, even though this looks like a something from the toilet, but I like the realism here. And here we have the Google Nano Banana part, both performing pretty good based on this prompt. And by the way, you can always try all of the newest AI image models and other models on LM Arena for free. And if you'd like to try, for example, these Microsoft new ones, just click on image, then click on here side by side, select a model. So here we have Hanyuan 2.5 Flash, GPT image, My Image, C Dream, everything. I've chosen this here. And also here I chosen Gemini Google and then just write a prompt and that's it. However, you will hit a limit very fast, then just connect from different VPN and another browser and you will get another couple of, you know, five to 10 image generations per your account, which is a pretty nice way to test all of the new AI models. So now let's try some of the examples that Microsoft did give. They prefer simple prompts and fast generations. So Roadrunner sprinting across sand. Here we have Microsoft, which is really, really realistic and very, very good. And here we have Gemini 2.5 Flash. Also, also, also pretty good. Then also one example. So a man crossing a city street. This is very good. No, eyes are disturbed. <laughs> yeah. And uh, here the Google picked up from the same prompt. This sometimes happened on the LM Arena. If we go once more, a woman crossing a city street, this really looks good. Again, we have a problem here with the eyes on the Microsoft side and on the Google side. We don't see the eyes because it's blurry, but it does look kind of realistic. And for some reason, those people here are taking a picture of that woman. Yeah, interesting. So then I needed to try how good it handled the text. So very simple prompt, create a cooking card on how to make a pizza at home. Here we have Microsoft, good, 
until now here we have fonts that are not really fonts or words or anything then ingredients then steps good you know half of the words are okay half of the words are really not okay or i would say actually the symbols that we have here and then google really handles that pretty good so homemade pizza ingredients instructions so you see everything is completely right here i don't see any wrong word or syllable or anything here so yeah pretty pretty good so now if we tried fitness card on how to get apps quickly how to get apps quickly okay we have a problem already here quickly this is that's a new word invented by microsoft quickly and then we have complete gibberish around here and uh, google nano banana performing really really good here now moving on to the more complex and a popular prompt create a one seven scale commercialist figurine of a person with a big beard in a realistic style in real environment so the figurine is placed on the computer desk and all of that jazz and i think both perform pretty good so we have here on microsoft part this is the figurine here we have the box and here we have design not really detailed as google ones and here when you see the text it's once again gibberish so this model still has a problem with that and the google one really also pretty good behind pretty good and you see the text here the artist and the bearded legend also pretty good in boxing now the same thing but 120th scale of figurine with big muscles and pretty good performance once again from microsoft yes and here is the google part it really did shrunk the figurine based on my prompt and here we have the alpha strike yes yes pretty good so now to test if a image generator will create a famous person as you obviously see my image one have a problem with that because of content policy and here google nano banana did create an image of donald trump and brad pitt drinking beer at a bar nice so let's try to create a realistic image of two friends drinking beer at a smoky vintage bar not to, to be famous and here we have two friends from microsoft my image this looks pretty okay we have a smoky vintage bar and once again here we have donald and brad they are having problems while eating the chips but they are having fun i see and now this prompt to see also the reasoning not only how to, they can paint the image so solve this equation on the green board so we have x divided by three plus two equals five we need to find out the x so this is correct actually x is nine but there are some problems in the steps here x1 equals three equals three asterisk three so not completely correct but the final answer is and on the google part everything is completely correct i would say here from the math perspective yes now let's see how good the ai image generators are with the detailed instructions and by the way you notice that i'm completely constantly changing the browser because i logged in in each browser with different accounts so that i can create many many images that's how you do it so top down ultra macro photograph of a single pair of surgeon gloved hands meticulously assembling a tiny antique pocket watch and many other details so yes this looks pretty good from the microsoft side you see the gloves the watch the tiny details yes everything is pretty good here and also let's see on the google gemini yes also even more details i would say with regards to text here and everything that is happening pretty good now similar thing but going back to the hands because those are the biggest problems for ai image generators so we have four hands sharpening a single wet clay sculpture here let's see the hands the fingers good they all have five i would say from microsoft side and this looks pretty realistic and very good and here the google part one two three four five is it five hands this is kind of a weird and psychedelic looking like but once again pretty good job from both ai image generators and editors and then we also need to check the faces so ultra hyper realistic high contrast dramatic portrait of a man here we have microsoft this looks ai generated but it did follow the prompt then we have the google yeah yeah pretty good and then the similar thing with a more simple prompt i really like this one from microsoft yes look at the details and everything here and then we have this one also from google so i would say both gemini 2.5 flash imagine and also my image one performs pretty good 
here we have Hunyan image as the first one on LM Arena. But yeah, Microsoft did develop this part first in house, not depending on OpenAI. And for the first time, it's pretty, pretty good AI image generator that looks very, very realistic. And if you like this video, you might also like this one here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.